All right, let's get this show on the road. First, let's announce our guests that are here today. Senator Christina Tartaglione, let's put the hands together. Also, representing the 18th Ward, we have Jacqueline Patron. Where are you, Jacqueline? Wave your hand like you just don't care. All right, here we go. For the 43rd, we have Mr. Pickin and Mr. George. Hands up. Thank you. For the 19th Ward, we have Melissa. Melissa, hand up. From the 33rd Ward, Ward Leader Donna O'Man. All right, I'm going to ask everybody that I just named, Senator, if you would first come forward, say a few words, and everybody please follow through. Harold, want to raise your hand, board chairman of the 19th. Harold okay. for the 19th. Mr. Glenn, raise your hand. Hey, hey. Raise your hand back then. Uh, it's truly an honor to stand here, well, sit here today, uh, to endorse an angel. That's right. For once, we're going to finally have a council person that can deal with all of us. Yeah. 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 Angel and I have worked together for the last 20 years. He can deal and with he's me, been, he can deal with anybody. <laughs> he is such a great partner to have. And we don't have that now. So I'm really looking forward. We'll have Angel as our council person. We'll have our state rep, myself. And then this way, we're gonna have one voice. Because with three of us, you're gonna get a hell of a lot more done. And I have to say, Maria really hasn't ingratiated herself to any of us. You call, you can't get services. Angel gives good constituent yep. service. He does, and he will continue to bring this forward as well. I have to give a shout out to my brother-in-law, Carlos. He's babysitting my... He's visiting my sister. And he is his biggest fan. Um, they're going around together, you're doing your petitions together, doing the voter registration together. So Carlos has jumped in full force both feet. So Angel, we know you're going to win the election day. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Uh, Jackie Batron, if you can come up forward, please. Representing the eight Batron. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in just You're going to fix it. That's Spanglish, right? I'll fix it in just a minute. It's Jacqueline Beltran. Okay? I'm representing the 18th Ward. I'm sorry that Teresa wasn't able to be here today. She is ill under the weather. But I'm here to, to ask a question. Who here has a heart? Everybody here has a heart. And we've been trained in our minds and in our hearts to think a certain way. This is the future. This is what we have now. What we do now is going to determine the future. So the 18th Ward happily endorses you. Okay? We, we had no other choice. This is the best. There was no choosing when it came to asking us, okay? There's only one way to go, and that's with you, Angel, okay? Not only because we have a heart, but you have shown a heart every time you've worked, all your history. Even if you read this here right now, just a little pamphlet doesn't even compare to what he's done, okay? In some way, shape, or form, he has transformed, because change can go back to what it was, okay? He has to transform the way we are seeing our future. You are our future, and we're putting our faith in you, okay? You. All righty. Now we need the representatives for the 43rd Ward, Mr. Pickin and Mr. George, if you want to step up, please. Hello, my name is Mr. Pickens, Clayton Pickens. I'm from the 43rd Ward, 9th Division. I'm a committee person there, and I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I've been living in the community for about 40 years. And I'm here, me and my wife, you know, I have grandkids with us, but we're here to support Angel Cruz, and we're gonna do that 100%. Good evening, good evening. First of all, thank you for the opportunity of being invited to the party. And we're gonna have a good time and the 43rd Ward 
we'll take on the opportunity, we'll take on this challenge and the opportunities to make something happen. We're going to run with this. We're going to give it all we got. We're going to put our mind, our soul, and our heart into it, and we're going to make him a winner. We're going to do this. Thank you. All right. I like the sound of that. All right. I want to see Melissa, Vicky, and Howard. Howard. Harold, 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 where are you? Vicky. For the 19th Ward. I am here on behalf of Carlos Matos. Um, and I'm going to say, I called him to see what he wanted me to say. So, um, him and Angel have had many differences in the past. And despite all of that, they have come to common ground and put that beside you know, that's irrelevant because they both are very passionate about um, the community and what's good for the community. So that overrules everything. Um, currently, there are lots and, you know, properties being taken from low-income homeowners. And instead of being produced for low-income housing, they are now um, just given to developers and ridiculous amount of money are now being purchased for these properties. So he wanted me to ask everyone, is she our council member or is she a developer? So that's the question that you ask and the only person that he is confident in to overcome all of this situation is Angel. Right. So um, we will go door to door, make sure we get the vote out, spread the word, and in May, God willing, Angel will be the new council member. All righty, thank you, thank you. Our next guest, the 33rd Ward Leader, Donna Ahmed. First, before I start with Angel, Millie and Chuck, happy 25th anniversary. Thank you. This is how much the 33rd loves Angel. They're not having their anniversary dinner until after you announce. Okay, so you know how the people of the 33rd, Angel is my brother ward. We go right up East Street together. We have never differed. We might argue a few times, but I always say, Angel, you're my Puerto Rican son. I'm the mother. You have to do what I say. It doesn't work too good until his mother tells him the same thing. But Angel and I have been together since Pat Hughes. We both love Pat Hughes, and he took over for her, and I took over for Bill Stinson. We've been together forever. And I'm sure that if we made Angel the state rep here, we'll make him the council person here. Okay with you, kid? Thank you. Leonard Brown for the 19th Ward. Leonard, you have a few words. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to be here tonight to support Angel Cruz. I know he's going to make a great council person. He's a very passionate state representative. A lot of people that I've talked to that go to his office and get the service they need, when they go to council in the woman's office, they don't get it. So I, want every, so I want everybody here to get your friends to register to vote and come out in May and support Angel Cruz. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for a new seven councilmatic district councilman, Angel Cruz. Thank you, everyone. Just hit me just now. Thank you for the support that you're giving me. And it's not about me, it's about us. I want to be the council person for the people. I had a choice today to wear a suit and a tie, but why? I want to look just like you. I wear my little baseball cap, but that doesn't stop me from learning how to do the job and doing the job. I worked in council. I wear, I got, I'm on my 20th year as a state legislator, okay? So I know how to do the job. One of the things that I do not want to do is sell this community short, okay? 
There's no reason why we don't have city services unless you're gentrifying this community. My people, my folks, my voters live here 30, 40 years, raised their children here. Right. There's no need for you to leave anywhere else right. but to stay here. Yeah. With a new council person with no personal interest, no gentrification. By the way, neither I or my wife has a construction company. So I'm not selling you guys out because I don't have any interest in becoming a millionaire. I want to be a resident just like you that has the same benefits everybody else does, but you have to have someone that wants to fight for that. Now I'm the candidate that can unite and not divide. I need all of us to be together because this is an all together movement, okay? And for all the wars that are out there, how am I going to get the voice out? How am I going to solve all the issues? Every ward will have a job in my office. I'm not bringing my family members, okay? I'm bringing you the people, the people. And this is what I want to say to you. I don't want to tell you, let me have your vote, vote for me. I'm going to ask you, let me borrow your vote. And if I don't do what I've promised for you, I will not ask you to vote for me again. That is my commitment to you today. I want to work for you guys. Give me the opportunity. Just last week, we be, we called the caucus. I became the endorsed candidate for the Democratic Party. After 12 years serving, three consecutive years, you cannot get the party endorsement that says something about you, that you cannot work with the people. But when you're up for re-election, you want to buy somebody a soda or an ice cream cone. That's not acceptable. I don't need either of the above. I want to work for the people. And one of the things that I want to do is clean this district up. This, this, this district is neglected. Tires everywhere, trash everywhere. Alley's dirty, full of rats because we have too much trash. So this is what I want to do with that. I want to get a city-owned lot that the incumbent has a habit of taking and selling and doing other things instead of giving it back to the people. I want one of those city lots so I can bring and have the people in the 7th Councilmatic bring your unwanted furniture, your TVs, refrigerators, mattresses, so you don't have to dump them in the neighborhood. Right. You dump them there and let the city come pick it up there. That's how we're going to clean this yeah. district. The security cameras all the way around that are not working, that we're not safe, I want to repair them, install new ones, find a way that we clean, secure, before we build. And we ain't going anywhere. We need you to make sure that your neighbors are all registered, make sure that people participate, and if you're happy with the 12 years, then you know what to do. But if you want change, Angel Cruz in May 21st. Yeah. Senator, thank you for being by my side. I appreciate everything you have done for me. Donna. The 18th Ward, Teresa, uh, Tommy, Tommy, thank you. Uh, the 43rd Ward, the guys that are here supporting. Uh, the 19th Ward, uh, the th uh, who else is that? The 62nd, March of Taglione. Thank you all for giving me that opportunity to represent. I will do not do wrong to you guys. I'm going to be there. I'm going to fight. Yeah, I mean, we may argue a little bit, but that's good. That's healthy. And, you know, that, that's, that's good. But, but I will never defraud the 7th. Council Matic District. If you cannot work with the people that you need the support for, then why be there? Okay? And and there's the rumor. My my the incumbent is out there saying that I don't support women. Well let me tell you something. Number one. Number one. I'm born from a woman. I'm married to a woman. She's back there. And number three. I supported her when no one else wanted her to become the council person. So she cannot say that I don't support. I support Latinos, I support women, I support the endorsed candidates. I do what I need to do. And I have a track record that proves to that. Okay? So I'm here. I'm going to unite everyone. And listen, nobody fought more than me and Carlos. Me and Carlos fought. I think me and Carlos fought in our dreams. Okay? But you know what? Carlos believes in me because he saw my vision. He saw what I have done and what I can do, okay? Different from her. I don't want to, at the end of the day, say, oh, I could have done this any different. I need you. I need you. Without you, I'm not going to make it. We got to work together. 
So if you have a need, you want to change, you don't want gentrification, you want a new tomorrow, Angel Cruz is your candidate. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, and God bless you. Thank you. Cruz, 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 Cruz. All right, people, listen, let's get out there. Let's get these petitions fine. Let's get Angel on the ballot. Let's make sure he's our candidate come May 21st. And let's vote what? Let's vote what? God bless you all.